Welcome to Vintage Coin Op Restorations and one of our latest projects. Here we have something a little different than a coin op machine. What we have here is a vintage funhouse mirror. Um, as for a little history on this thing, uh, I was on my way with my wife to um, see my daughter compete at University of Illinois Champaign and uh, my wife's pretty tuned to it no matter where we go, whenever we're looking we're always looking for a flea market, looking for an antique mall and uh, we happen to come across one and uh, as I go I'm not allowed to spend too much time in these places uh, I kind of fly through them as fast as I can but uh, my wife goes what you think of the mirror and uh, I guess I didn't see it so she spotted it and uh, I absolutely loved it uh, it was originally painted uh, brown and uh, speckled with some gold paint and um, the problem with it you know was uh, it was big we weren't sure how we were gonna get it home but we took it anyways um, as for the little history of it uh, the lady found it uh, when she was picking one time in uh, Baraboo Wisconsin so uh, I'm not sure if uh, most people know that is the home of uh, Ringling Brothers Barman and Bailey and uh, it's very possible that uh, this uh, might have been there at one time. So what we ended up doing was stripping the, uh, the paint five different colors off and went down to the bare wood and uh, we brought this thing back to life. But that's not where it stopped. So you didn't want to put this on a wall so um, we needed to find a way to um, get it on a stand so we built a stand for it and to increase the effect we made it so that it is adjustable uh, right now we have it at a uh, I'd say at least a 12 12 degree pitch and uh, it could go more but uh, the further as you go forward you start losing the height so it is possible to actually raise it and go up one more um, another 10 inches I don't think you guys can see it but there's another support member in there we can go up and by bringing it up that would you know allow us um, a little more angle but right now we have it at its uh, set angle to be pitched and of course you can see the pinhole there that will allow it to come perfectly vertical and also just for safety issues we have a uh, we have it locked in with the chain and if we were to disassemble the unit it's easily done yes this is a safety lock that we're all familiar with uh, for doors but it works out perfect for our situation here and and to remove to remove the the pin all you have to do is pull the pin out push the pin through and adjust it to the new uh, location so that's uh, a really neat little feature. The back of it also was uh, just beat up and uh, unpainted. So we did paint the back so this piece could be put anywhere in a home um, and not have to worry about what's the back going to look like or putting it up against something. So it's a really neat feature and uh, I'm just very happy with the way it came out. Though the lighting in here does not um, really show the, the woodworking on here because uh, we did use a dark stain and um, the camera is not picking it up, but uh, it's absolutely brilliant. Let's uh, move in closer, maybe we can get a better look. Well, enough talking about this thing, so what does it actually do? So uh, you can see another arcade machine in my backdrop there. But right now, I am uh, taking a video of myself, and it looks like I got a cone head. And uh, as I get closer, uh, there's another reflection of me upside down. And as I get closer to this thing, my arms are starting to grow longer and longer. And yeah, they're really long right now. So, pretty cool. 
Um, the tilt mechanism up on top there, uh, tilting it forward, it was a uh, brilliant idea. And uh, what else can I tell you? I'm very happy the way it came out. If you have one of these for sale or you need one restored, please give us a call. We're located in Chicago, Illinois. Our phone number is area code 630-624-7466. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to our videos so you can see all the new machines coming to the warehouse. Thanks for watching.